What's up, you sick mother bluffers? Here's a poker vlog. It has poker hands. I win some, I lose some. Let's get into it. Kicking things off with this hand where the button straddles to 5, the cutoff back straddles to 10, and the hijack re straddles to 20. I look down at pocket 8s in middle position. Action is on the cutoff who calls, the button calls. I make the call, really hoping not to see a raise from the hijack, but they check their option. We go four ways to a flop of jack, eight, six, rainbow. I flop a set. My thought process is that on the board this dry, a bet being first to act is going to look super strong, and I'm probably gonna get folds from everything but a jack. If I check, I can let my opponents catch a draw, or maybe a hand they could really hang themselves with like two pair. Also, the way this table has been playing tonight, I wouldn't be surprised to see one of the players behind me bet, at which point I'll have to decide whether to call or raise. I check, and it checks through. The turn is great for me though, it's the king of diamonds, opening straight and flush draws. I can now reasonably expect to get value from one or more players, so I fire out a bet of 60 bucks, but they all fold. So sick to flop a set in a triple straddle pot and not get any action. In this one, I looked down at pocket kings from under the gun, I open to 15, Cutoff is the only player to make the call. We go heads up to a flop of deuce, eight, jack, two spades. I see bet for 20, cutoff makes the call. The turn is not amazing, it's the three of spades, completing the flush draw. I think I'm going to play this as a check call. I check, and a cutoff pretty quickly fires out a bet of 55 bucks. I'm a little bit concerned as to the bet I could be facing on the river, but for now, I stick to the plan and call. The river is, eh, it's a nine. So now a couple of straight draws get there too. Against a specific opponent who seems like a competent player, I think I'm going to check, really want to call, but maybe find a fold. I check, and the cutoff goes into the tank for 10, 20, 30, a whole 40 seconds before finally checking back. Pretty sure I'm good, so I show, and I take down the pot. Time for a double board, five card PLO bomb pot, seven of us see a flop of 10, 9, 9, two diamonds on top, jack, six, four, rainbow on bottom, I'm in the cutoff and I've got queen queen 953. I flop trip nines, queen kicker on top, and a straight draw on bottom. Big blind bets 10, under the gun calls, I make the call, and the button calls. Four ways to the turn, which comes to seven of diamonds on top, eight of hearts on bottom. I don't improve on either board. The big blind bets 25, under the gun calls, and I'm a little bit surprised to see myself call here. I guess I was thinking I could still make a straight on bottom on a rainbow unpaired board and have that be the winning hand really not sure anyway the button is going to make the call as well still four ways to the river and now i understand why i made that call it comes a queen of spades on top and a two on bottom i river the nut full house on top and the six high straight on bottom big blind bets for 25 again which is really small under the gun makes the call i raise to 120 big blind is the only player to make the call and they show five seven for the nut straight on bottom my full house is going to win on top but it looks like I got a little bit lucky as they already had a full house. Again, not really sure why I called on the turn. My hand was a fold, in my opinion. In this one, I put the $5 straddle on the button and I look down at ace queen off suit. Action is on the small blind who calls, big blind calls, the cutoff raises to 25. I'm going to three bet to 75. Blinds get out of the way, but cutoff makes a call. Heads up to a flop of 10, five king rainbow. The cutoff checks to me. I think a check or a bet are fine. This time I decided to check back. The turn is the ace of spades. Cutoff checks me for a second time. I fire a bet of 90 and I take it down. Next hand, there's a straddle to five on the button. I look down at pocket queens in the small blind. Actions on me, I raise to 20. Button straddler is the only player to make the call. We go heads up to a flop of nine ace, ace rainbow. Not the best flop, not the worst. Makes it less likely I'm up against an ace. I check with the intent to call, but the button checks back. The turn is the eight of hearts, opening up some straight and flush draws. I bet out for 20, and the button makes the call. The river is not great, it's a king. I don't think I'm getting value from much at this point, except for maybe jacks or tens. I check, kind of hoping my opponent does not put me in a tough spot, but they say I can have it, so I show, and I take down the pot. In this one, I pick up pocket eights in middle position. There's a raise to seven from under the gun one. I call, to cut off three bets to 27. When under the gun one calls, it makes it very enticing for me to get in there and set mine, so that's what I do. Going three ways to a flop of seven, six, eight, I flop top set. I wasn't expecting this, but under the gun one decides to lead out for 75 bucks, almost a full pop bet. I really don't know what to do. Well, I know what not to do. I'm not going to fold, obviously, but do I just call or jam here? There's a straight draw on the board, although it's 
really unlikely one of my opponents has a straight or a straight draw, but do I just want to call and let a 5 or a 9 roll out on the turn and then things get ugly? I think my opponent's most likely value hands on this board are going to be a smaller set or an overpair. Both holdings I'm going to be going all in against anyway, so I go all in for 301. And I had all but forgotten about the cutoff, the initial raiser, who makes the call for less. They have about 100 bucks. Undergun 1 announces a fold, and so I go heads up against the cutoff player. The turn and river are breaks, and I crack aces. I feel like I've been hitting a lot of sets with pocket 8s recently. Do you have a hand you seem to hit a lot of sets with? Let me know in the comments. Last hand for the vlog, in this one we're playing a Dramaha 49 bomb pot. Don't worry if you don't know how to play, I'll explain as I go along. So I'm under the gun with queen queen 10 3 3. If this was regular Dramaha, I would have two pair, queens and threes, but in 49, I have a count of 16. 10 plus 3 plus 3. Face cards are worth 0. Goal is to try and get as close to 49 as possible, and we can draw up to 3 cards once this betting round is over. It's called 49 because that's the highest count you can reach with 4 10s and 1 9 in your hand. Okay, so 6 of us see a flop of queen jack 7, I flop top set, and a not great flush draw. When action checks to me, I decide to bet out for 20, which is okay, but not great. Yes, I have top set, but unless the board pairs, I'll most likely end up losing to a straight or a better flush by the river. I'm also forced to hold on to my queens, which are worth 0 and 49, so really not setting myself up for success here, but anyway. The cutoff and button make the call. I throw away my 3s, I hold my queens and the 10, and I draw a 9 and a 6, so not a bad trade. But because I held to my queens, I only have a count of 25 now, 10 plus 9 plus 6, which is probably not winning. Anyway, the turn comes the king of diamonds, giving me the third nut flush. I only lose to a flush with an ace or a jack. I doubt someone stayed in with the jack high flush draw though, so probably only worried about the ace high flush. Action checks around and the river comes to six spades. Action checks around for a second time, and so we go to showdown. And I actually scoop this pot with the 10 high flush and a count of 25, which is just ridiculous. That's it for now. As always, please know that I truly appreciate anyone who supports the channel by hitting the thumbs up button and dropping a comment. If you don't want to miss the next video, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, good luck at the tables, and I'll catch you in the next one.